Good morning. It is 7.43 a.m. on Friday, January 8th, 2021. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Whew. Boy, uh, it has been a news-heavy couple of days. So I'm going to talk about the weird, vivid dreams I've been having lately, which are entirely unrelated to all the news. So last night, I dreamed that I was performing some sort of an espionage mission at a sci-fi convention very much like Dragon Con. Specifically in the dream, it wasn't so much that the espionage mission was like related to Dragon Con, except in that it was happening at the same hotel as Dragon Con at the same time as Dragon Con was happening. And I'll also add that it wasn't Dragon Con specifically so much as a Dragon Con-like event. I didn't recognize specific hotels or carpet patterns, for example. Um, but uh, another weird detail about this was that the espionage unit that I was a part of consisted of entirely Austin Powers's. <laughs> um, which is a little difficult to explain, and I don't have a good explanation for it because it's a dream and that's just how it goes sometimes. But essentially, all of us were either were or were disguised as Austin Powers in various other disguises, right? So whatever our disguise was, it was Austin Powers in a disguise. And so uh, that was weird. I think the connection there is I recently thought about Austin Powers in connection to, um, you know, anyone talking about all the madness of the last couple of days and saying, how could we have seen this coming? And I remembered from the original Austin Powers movie, the bit where they're driving a steamroller very, very slowly and the guard is in front of him and going, no, but they're like, way far away and approaching very, very slowly. And he just stands there screaming in terror until they finally arrive and crush him. And it's like, so that's the only time I've thought about Austin Powers recently. So I think that's probably it. But here's where it got complicated. Like the, the plan immediately went awry due to the presence of all the sci-fi convention stuff. But it turned out that I had special access to the VIP floor where the meet was supposed to happen, I had special access as me because Scott Sigler was holding a special event there and I knew him, so I could probably get in. And that was the, that was the reason that I was gonna be able to go up there. So, um, yeah, that was a silly dream, but uh, it made me, did make me miss going to big conventions like obviously we didn't really do any of those this year but like I even kind of miss Dragon Con which I hadn't been to in a few years anyway just because it's so crowded but it's just really something I love about it but you know obviously this year's not going to be a big year for big crowded conventions either so um you know, I'll have to keep missing that for a little while, but <clears throat> maybe I need to make more of a point to attend the virtual versions of some of these conventions, which I haven't really done so far. Anyway, um, my throat's a little bit raw. I think I was probably sleeping with my mouth open and snoring a little bit, but, you know, just like... <sighs> anyway, though, um, I also watched the season three finale of Star Trek Discovery, yesterday, which I think was pretty good. Um, some minor complaints about the background of an action sequence aside, which it's just a sequence that implies that there's just these cavernous empty spaces inside the superstructure of discovery, which makes no sense at all. Um, which, you know, it's like, Okay, I can roll my eyes at the at at that piece of it. It kind of breaks the verisimilitude of the spaceship a little bit, but it's in the service of an epic action scene. So it's like, oh, okay, I guess. Um, and there was, you know, one character that I felt like 
there had to have been scenes with that character that maybe just got cut by the end for editing or pacing or whatever other reason, but just um, one character in particular that I feel like second to last time we saw them, they had a lot of really important character stuff going on, and then the last time we see them, it's just them looking on in approval at uh, the uh, the main character um, at the end, and I'm trying not to spoil it in case anyone hasn't seen the episode yet, but... I did just feel like there was a missing scene there that I wish had been there, but I, you know, I'm sure there are probably good reasons why it wasn't. Um, but uh, yeah, and then also The Expanse is a good show; continues to be great. I think this season is really good, especially. I like this season more than the last season. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave it there, and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. Stay safe.